Hey guys, Led here. Quick video to show you how to install a pedestal sink. This is going to be installed from scratch, meaning we got to do the plumbing too. We already did a video how to do these valves. It's a separate, I'll put a link below. So we're going to be connecting drain piping. We're going to be setting up the sink. As you guys can see, this is hollow here. This comes, these flat pipes could be a little shorter, but we are just enough, so we're flush here. So we're going to line this up to measure where we have to drill holes because there's two holes if you want to mount it just to the ground. If you're not going to mount it to the ground, you at least silicone around here so nothing moves, but obviously you want to mount it. And this drops right here and it hides all our plumbing. So now if you guys take a look in here, um, we have two holes here, we got to mark our drill holes and up here where it's going to connect to the wall one and two over there so that's how it's going to mount and silicone will go up here to seal this and completely um so we'll take this back apart and we're just going to make our holes now and plumbing ceramic tile you need a special bit make sure you get that Got our holes ready for the base and we're just going to use these cement screws uh, for the hardy backer boards to screw this down with a couple of washers when we install and over here on the wall we'll mark the two holes same thing we're going to pre-draw our holes and we're going to use the screw that i like this with a washer and tighten it since we've access to the other side of the wall to tighten it down otherwise we would just use a regular type of screw so we got everything prepared, we actually re replaced the drain pipe in the wall, so it's a cleaner connection and clean pipes. We got everything already pre-cut, uh, our plumbing kit, I needed an extension for this drain pipe because this wasn't long enough to connect to the standard elbow. So we made an extension, we cut that down from a 12 inch pipe. First we're going to set up the faucet and the drain in the sink itself. Um, very simple. Two plastic rings are going to tighten from the bottom here, and then we just connect our hoses. These are half inch to three eighths, so three eighths connects here. Half inch usually is going to be connecting to your uh, water supply, but you can still double check what you have in your setup. Make sure you have your gasket that comes with it. Some people like to even put some putty or silicone. It's not really necessary to have a gasket, but you can do it. And then we're just going to tighten it down here. And this is just hand tight and these are plastic. It used to be metal, but not anymore. That's that. We can connect our water lines now as well. You're not doing any thread and tape or anything because this is rubber washers already in here. So when you tighten it, just don't over tighten. You are going to use a wrench, but you don't want to overdo it. But then you just end up breaking the seal. Once it gets once it gets tight, go another half turn, and it should be good. You're gonna see leaks, you just tighten a little more. So that's that. Now the drain. There's a rubber seal here, there's this thing to seal it. And here's our top. We're gonna to do a little bit of plumber's potty or silicone if you prefer, but I would say plumber's potty is recommended. Make sure you make it nice and soft. Make a line. Wrap it around. Pop it in here. And now we just screw this down. Make sure this is facing to the back. Uh, that's going to be for our 
lever to close the drain. Let me just tighten this whole thing up. I'm gonna tighten, final tighten once I have it installed with a wrench as well. But then we're just gonna take any excess putty off here. And now we can move to our plumbing here. So at this point, I'm gonna, since it's a tight fit over here, I'm gonna connect my extension and we're going half inch, half, one and a half inch pipe in. This drain is one and a quarter. This is a converter seal and a converter bracket uh, to make a connection from, um, basically it's a little wider, to go from quarter to half. Um, so that's that. I'm going to put this on. back view here so now we can actually also install our drain and basically this is going to go in a faucet and we got to get this metal right through this hole so we're going to screw this there's two plastic gaskets here so we're leaving one in there, and one's going to go here. Oh, excuse me. One's going to go here. So the one in there, this goes through here, sitting on it. This one's going on top of it, and then we're going to tighten up here. So you put the gasket in there. I'm going to get it through. That hole, so it's lined up right now, and I'll show you guys how to test it in a second. You tighten this pretty tight, but if you make it too tight, this won't even move. So make it enough. The gasket is what's going to keep any water from coming out. But now, to make sure you got it in the hole, this should be going up and down. Now, our rod. The curve is there to go through the hole in the sink, basically. We might have to adjust that here. So like that. Looking at this extension. Right. That's something you can adjust later when I'm going to worry about that. This clip is to hold it so nothing slides off. So you can really go like this in, and then this, and this around it, and this isn't going anywhere. So we're good here. Now the plumbing. We've got an elbow, which is going to come up here. This will go on top of it. There's no seals, it's just a smooth connection. So make sure when you tighten this, you have a good straight uh, and it's uh, fully tightened because that's where leaks like to happen. We have a seal here, the tapered edge is on the inside, outside is the flat edge, which is going to be pushed by the, um, by the nut. And we're going to connect this here. So I'm not going to fully tighten anything yet, I'm just going to set it up. Sometimes you have a metal pipe in the wire metal pipe in the wall but it's the same connection. There's the elbow. You want to kind of drop this, line this up. And it should be nice and snug. I'll tighten everything up once I'm... Oh, one thing. 
for the fossil ones. We'll make this pretty, get these cheap covers, they're about a buck a piece. Snap it on here. That's what it's called. This is for half inch pipes. But they have metal ones too, and they even have bigger ones for this setup here. So we can connect our lines. So we're removing these because we're not connecting copper lines. These tips here are if you're connecting copper lines, or maybe pipe tubing. Basically, has a crush washer. So we're going directly to these. Same thing, no Teflon tape on here because this has rubber gaskets already. Tighten it, but don't over tighten it because you'll just damage the rubber. Technically we could use shorter hoses here, but we already have these, so why spend the money? This will work just fine makes the install easier too because normally if the sh hoses are shorter we would have to set everything up and then connect the hoses but I can get this out of the way right now alright slide this over so now like I told you guys two bolts in here that are going to connect to the wall we do have support beam back there and then the two on the floor I'll show you guys in a sec. Actually, one might be gonna come from this side. So we gotta drop the elbow in here. Again, once I have it lined up. Yes, you can adjust left or right as needed. For the base, just some heavy duty construction screws and a washer. Just make sure you guys don't over tighten so you don't crack the ceramic. There's a sneak peek of the bottom. Now for the top, this faucet doesn't come with the screw, so you gotta do your own. Get a washer, gonna put a screw right in there, and just tighten that down the same way. So now we can turn on our valves and test the water and test the leaks. Test if it's actually hot and cold. Yeah, right. So which one is hot supposed to be? Left, right? Get the dirty water out. So far, no leaks, which we want. No leaks from the lines. We'll let it run a little bit, double check. Looks like we are good. All right, guys, faucet's all done. The only thing we're gonna do is run a bit of silicone back here, just to fully seal it to the wall. And if you prefer, you can also do one on the bottom, but it's really not necessary because you already did uh, the screws. Nothing's leaking, everything looks clean. Hidden. That's what you want. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out my other videos on this bathroom remodel, any house renovations we're doing, and other how to videos. Appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up.